The human being is always motivated by something. If you aren't motivated to do something, it's because you are motivated to do something else. The difference is between the rich and the poor is that the rich did the things that he had to do even though he didn't want to do. The poor stayed poor because he just followed his emotions. Motivation, right? How to be more motivated. You won't, I mean, you don't want to rely on motivation. That's true, but not 100% true. The, the regular human being always uh, relied on motivation. For example, if you are hungry, you want to eat. Why you want to eat? Because you are hungry. So the motivation is a natural thing, but you have to, you know, trick your mind to be in a position that you will be always or most of the time motivated. The human being is always motivated by something. If you aren't motivated to do something, it's because you are motivated to do something else. So instead of looking a reason or a way to be more motivated to go and make money or do this, do that, or you know, go on with your project, look around you and try to find the thing that you are more motivated at that right time and just get out of the way. For example, if you have to work, for example, or go to the gym, but you don't have that motivation, it's because you are motivated by something else. Could be watching Netflix, spending time with your friend or going out. So if you take that out of the way, the only thing that will be left on the table will be the gym. So you will be motivated by the gym because the human being is always motivated by something. It's human nature. So instead of looking how to be more motivated, find the demotivation. Find the thing that is not helping you to be motivated. Find the unmotivation or the demotivation. I don't know how you call it, but the opposite of motivation. So take that out and you will be more motivated towards your goal, right? Now, that's not enough. If you want results, if you want consistency and you want to, you know, be able to work out every day or, you know, be consistent in your program or your project or con your content, your business, motivation is only the thing that will help you to go up and take a walk to go towards uh, the project or the gym, for example. But you want to make sure that you have something else that will support the motivation because the motivation is like a little thing that is very short it's very short term like you are motivated but it lasts maybe a few minutes maybe a few hours maybe if it's a huge motivation could last few days few weeks but most of the time when you are motivated you are motivated by different stuff every single day one day you are motivated to make videos, for example. The other day you are motivated to go to the gym. The other day you are motivated to, I don't know, go out and have fun. But the real thing is anything in life that is respectable and any success that people admire are anything related to stuff that are done even though the guy or the, the, the person didn't want to do it. That's the thing, you know. When you are improving in your life, doesn't matter if it's at the gym, uh, at work, doesn't matter, and, and, and in any aspect, like if you are improving, it's because you are getting your job done, even those days that you want, don't want to go to the gym, for example. Like if you want to have results and you go to the gym only days that you want to go to the gym, you won't have results because out of seven days in a week you will have that huge motivation maybe two three days on average maybe for a week you will be motivated the other week you won't be motivated but the real improvement the real success is when you do stuff when you don't want to do it because like it happens with every human being that's the thing you know everybody has that motivation to do something and the other day, the next day, it's not there anymore. You know what I'm saying? But that's 
what makes the difference, right? The difference is between the rich and the poor is that the rich did the things that he had to do even though he didn't want to do. The poor stayed poor because he just followed his emotions. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. As a man, you have to be logically going. You have to be logical as a man. As a man, you have to be logical and you have to, uh, even though if you don't want to do it, if you want to achieve some goals and results, you have to go and do it. You don't want to follow your emotions or your emotions. You don't want to, uh, you know, have a feeling of, uh, oh, I don't want to do it, so I don't do it. No, no. You know, people always do, oh, I, I, my, my dream is to do a job that I want to do. The thing is, the job, it's called job because you will do some things that you don't want to do. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? You are improving when other people just stopped because they don't want to do it. But you too, you didn't want to do it, but you did it. And that's the difference between a person that has success or that is, you know, getting the top 10%, 5%, 1% of people because this guy did the things that he didn't want to do it, but he did it anyways. And that's respectable. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't want to, um, I mean, a lot of people are motivated to do something, right? And they stop because they are not motivated. But at the same time, the, the same day, the, the, the neighbor went to the gym anyway. He didn't want to, but he went to the gym. That's the difference between success and failure. Success and when you keep going, even though you don't want to do it. And failure is when you stop because you followed uh, your emotions and not your goals. So you have to have those two types of mind emotions and your radical and logical decisions. You know, if you set some goals, you have to do it. You have to be a man of your word, right? You want to make sure that you are doing the things that you have to do and not the things that you want to do, right? A lot of people are like trapped in that uh, trap. <laughs> That's the thing. It, it's, it's like a, if you follow only your emotions, you won't get your goals. You won't achieve your goals. You won't have success. You won't be part of the 1%. That's the thing. So guys, in conclusion, if you want to be more motivated, don't look for being more motivated. Look for the thing that is the current motivation and take that out of your life for the moment. And then when you will achieve your goals, then you can, you know, put back your TV, your Netflix, you know what I'm saying? And go back for vacation, have fun. If you want to achieve some goals, you want to make sure uh, that even though you are not motivated, right? Like you have to do it. You have to do some things to achieve your goals and not do the things that you want to achieve your goals, right? That's the thing, that's the number two thing. So number one, look for the thing that is not helping you with the motivation, take that out of the way and you will be only motivated by one thing that is left on the table. And number two, after that, you do the things that you have to do and not the things that you want to do. And I'm promising you guys, you will 100% of the time achieve your goals. So it was wonderful, guys. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. I'm just trying to help men. So try to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Will be very nice. See you in the next one.